Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning, or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Ah, uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Um... If you don't mind my asking... How did you deal with the losses on Akuz? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. What's your opinion of the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. We have an advantage. We know they're coming and we know about their indoctrination. I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salion, too. I'd convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. 
I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. Udina couldn't wait to stab me in the back. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I should have known better. Udina, the Council, they're all the same. Petty, blind, and stupid. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. 
so you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're... you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's gotta be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. 
He's not gonna let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here, waiting for you. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget if we don't stand up for ourselves. No one else will. I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? We should, but you're looking for a reason. I disagree. We have a backlog of grievances the aliens have ignored, starting with Shanxi. Were you at Shanxi? If not, shut your pie hole! It's not worth getting angry over, Chief. Right. I read you, Skipper. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. It's a noble goal. Too bad so many of your supporters are just racists. I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views, but our platform is also supported by economists, sociologists, and medical professionals but you don't do anything to curtail the racist comments of your members. Of course not, Commander. Whether I disagree with them or not, they have the right to express their opinion. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Conrad Werner, remember me? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. 
Hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but why? Are you kidding? Nobody will believe that I talked with the beautiful Commander Shepard unless I get a picture. You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Think, Michael, it's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister in law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? 1 in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I, if, if I killed my baby for nothing. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this is not your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes the tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left, too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Commander, it is good to see you again. 
Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Admiral Kahoku, a respected member of the Alliance military, has passed away. The veteran soldier who won the love of his troops during conflict with the Batarians died of natural causes. Kahoku is survived by his wife and three children who are planning a small private memorial service. Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't send... <clears throat> Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. <laughs> 